everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going to address the need to snack. Today I'm gonna to share with you a few keto friendly, low carb ways that you can get your snack on and satisfy that craving that we all have. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Okay, today we're going to share with you some quick and easy snacks that are keto friendly and will keep you on track. You know, we all have those munchies. We all get those those moments where I just wanna eat something, right? Um, so these are a few ideas that can help keep you on track. They're keto friendly, they're low carb, and one of them is really super easy. And I'm gonna end with that one, but we have some hard boiled eggs, some mayonnaise and mustard. I have some, this is brick cream cheese. You wanna make sure you read your carbs because the brick cream cheese that I purchase has less than one gram of carbs per serving. So a serving is two tablespoons. This is a cheese, uh, ch a sharp cheddar and horseradish spread. It's called pub cheese and it has two grams of carbs per two tablespoon serving. I have the, uh, two ribs of celery here that I have cut into three pieces each and I have six slices of salami this is hard salami I prefer Genoa salami but the deli gave me this by accident so we're gonna use it anyway we're gonna make three fun quick and easy snacks that are gonna really just satisfy that snacky kind of craving so the first thing we have is the celery and I'm gonna stuff that with this pub cheese and really it's super easy to do. You can kind of just do this when the celery stalk is whole. Spread that cheese right on in there. Celery has uh, negative carbs because it is super high in fiber and also has negative calories if you didn't know that. And you're probably not gonna use a full two tablespoons for these two stalks of celery. So feel free to stuff that on in there. Overstuff. You can overstuff them, absolutely. So there's celery stuffed with a sharp cheddar cheese. I have some softened cream cheese here and you can just go ahead and spread this inside your salami and make you a little roll up. I also do this with um, ham. It's super easy to do. Uh, ham roll-ups are something I used to send to school with my girls and I prefer like the Danish ham Which is we call it rectangle ham in our house. You can get it at the deli or you can buy it Just in like the lunch meat section of the grocery store You know where they have the hot dogs and stuff the packaged meats you just spread it on a piece of that ham and roll it up And my girls used to love that um, instead of a sandwich We would pack that in their lunch as their main kind of item just make sure you you read your carbs. Then the last thing, which is like my favorite thing, we love deviled eggs in our house. I don't always like making deviled eggs, but this is what I am calling a deconstructed deviled egg. I made this for Rick yesterday because I wanted a snack and he's like, you should make a video of this. I'm like, seriously, <laughs> that is like the dumbest thing to make a video of. But I'm gonna show you how I made these. So you just take your hard boiled eggs and I always make sure that I have several hard boiled eggs on hand. Like we, we will boil um, a dozen and a half at a time or two dozen at a time in the pressure cooker. Okay, so just cut them in half. Then take you a little mayonnaise. Okay, don't use Miracle Whip, use mayonnaise. You can't have Miracle Whip if you're doing low carb keto. Okay, it has sugar in it and it's gross. So mm. put your little mayonnaise on there and take your favorite mustard. This is just a yellow mustard and give it a little a little squeeze of mustard on there, not too much. And then take you some salt and pepper, sprinkle it on top and boom, you have an instant deconstructed deviled egg. This is how we prefer our deviled eggs. We don't like them with uh, relish or anything in them. We just like them with mayonnaise and mustard. I usually put mustard powder and onion powder and garlic powder in mine. But when I want the taste of a deviled egg and I don't want to go to the trouble of making deviled eggs and mashing all the yolks and separating the yolks and the whites, this is what I do. You pop it all together on one and you pop it in your mouth and you enjoy it. And they're really good. And they're delicious. They taste just like a deviled egg and then everybody is happy. Well, there you have it. I've created this little snack platter for you. Um, this would be for um, two, three, four people. It just depends. You know, if you're just by yourself, then you're going to make it 
uh, as much according to your need. Um, of course, you can make these in advance and just stow them in the refrigerator and then grab them when you feel the need. But you see that I have the deconstructed deviled eggs, the stuffed celery, and the salami cream cheese roll-ups. But I've also added a handful of green and a handful of black olives and a really nice kosher pickle spear. All of those things are something that you can enjoy while you're on your low carb slash keto friendly kind of journey and they're not going to interrupt your body's fat burning ability. I really like to enjoy olives. Um, they're a really good option because they're really high in fat and they're really, really low in carbs. In fact, these two that I have on my tray have zero carbs per serving. So you should feel free to enjoy those. But make sure that you're, if you're counting macros, you're gonna wanna make sure that you, you look at the calories too. The pickles are super important. You want to make sure that you're eating at least some sort of fermented food when you, if you're, especially if you're doing keto. I've been doing a lot of reading and fermented foods are super important such as pickles, uh, fermented pickles. These are um, Clausen kosher dills. They're fermented and they're not like cooked. Uh, sauerkraut is another really big important thing. If you like kimchi, you can enjoy that. The uh, fermented vegetables have electrolytes that your body is going to need. You're gonna need to replenish those electrolytes and if you are not eating enough fermented things like pickles, you don't need a ton. Just a pickle spear with your lunch, some sauerkraut with your dinner, it's a great option. And you're gonna help to replace those electrolytes and that's also going to help you flush uh, water from your system and other toxins as well. So you can do a little more research on your own regarding those things, but if you would like to see a video on uh, how the importance of eating fermented foods, let me know in the comment section down below. But otherwise, these are some really great snack options for you if you are a low carb keto or low carb or keto. And you know what? Hmm. These would totally work for game day. They would totally work for game day. If you don't want to deprive yourself with the upcoming Super Bowl celebration, these are definitely something you can put out or bring with you if you've been invited somewhere and you won't feel like you're missing out on anything. But don't worry because we're going to be sharing some keto-friendly options for Super Bowl spread this year that I think are going to just really tantalize your taste buds and fit that bill. So I hope you give these a try and if you like today's video please give me a thumbs up and if you're new to my kitchen and you wandered on over to see what was going on welcome it's always a pleasure to have new friends join me please make sure and hit the subscribe button and as always if you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family please be sure and hit the bell notification button so that you get a push notification on your smartphone or an email every time we upload a new video because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we share all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that you give these snacking suggestions a try sometime soon and I hope you love them. And until next time, I'll see ya.